Uh, we're talking to Lou Barletta. He's uh, he's not officially running for governor, but he's leading in the polls among uh, Republicans, and uh, he has not made a decision yet, uh, former congressman. Um, so uh, I asked you what you would have done differently had you been governor uh, last January. Um, is Based on what you've seen and what, based on uh, the reaction to some of the things that this governor has done, are you able to measure the amount of anger that's out there? Among voters, oh, yeah. is it, is oh, it yeah. palpable? Oh, it is, no matter where. I've been traveling all around the Commonwealth, and, and it is very, very much, there's a lot of anger there of what's going to, and, and it's not only Republicans, it's Democrats as well. You know, kids that have been, you know, locked up at home, you know, what are their parents, so the, the problems that it created by the mismanagement of this this whole, and, and this won't be the last time that something like this happens. You know, now... Now that they know that they can close business and they have this much control over people, do you, do you think when government gets control like that, they're ever going to give it back to the people? And, and uh, you know, we need to make sure we change it. People want to change in direction of Pennsylvania. They're, they're not happy. And I think my time as a, not only a, as a businessman, John, you know, I had my own business, but being a mayor for 11 years and, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, that's a job where you're, you're on the field, you're in the trenches, and you understand you know, that there's never a ribbon cutting for a broken sewer line, but you're going to fix that sewer line and you're going to find the money to fix it. And uh, you're dealing with all those issues and, and their quality of life issues. People want a better life for their kids, for their grandchildren. And um, I think when you understand that, you have a better uh, perspective on on uh, a better viewpoint of, of what you need to do in situations like this. So, I think my time as a mayor, my time as a businessman, and the time I served in Congress gives me a, gives me all viewpoints to uh, to look at and and how to govern.